guys i am doing a book news video um it's probably some things that you have saw already um that you probably know about already but i haven't been on here in a while but i definitely want to talk about it a bit you know talk about some things i've saw within the book world um currently i am reading a book in the um harlequin series called dynasty um this is like the second season of the sequels of the a-list and if you haven't seen my video and my whole series of you in the sequels of the a-list i will link that in the description box so you can catch it up on it um i'm reading the first book called tempted by scandal by karen Aaron booth that comes out in may i got an advanced galley of it thank you karen so i'm going to review that and you'll get a review on that probably within the next week or so um, I am totally enjoying the series. It's four authors in the series. You have Cat Shield, um, and two of my other girls, Joss Wood and Reese Ryan. They're a part of the series as well, too. It's a four book series, and I'm so excited about it. Um, if you guys have not read the Secrets of the A List, um, series, I will advise you to get on it right now. Now, the Secrets of the A List series is, if I'm not mistaken, ebook only. Um, you can get it in um, packages like bundles, so I will list the bundles below or, you know, yeah, I would definitely list the bundles below. That way you can have a, um, a good deal on getting some of the books like in like one or three or one or four, whatever um, Harlequin and yeah, Harlequin is doing it. So I will put the Amazon link below so you guys can check that out. Um, as you guys know, speaking of Harlequin, as you guys know, the Kamani Romance line is ending now originally i thought it was supposed to end at the end of last year which was 2018 but then um excuse me one of my um author friends show listed that's my girl y'all check her out as well too um she informed me that um they were ending this year which is 2019 and what kamani is now doing is putting the all authors, the all the authors that was under um like Kamani had like book series originally. They're putting two in two um stories in one book now, so you guys can get like double the um nice stories, double the stories for a good value price. Um, I guess this is the way they're doing it now because they are ending. Um, I am not gonna lie, like I said in my other videos, I am kind of sad that Harlequin Kamani is empty because that was a um. That was their um, African American imprint with um, majority African American authors as well too, with stories about me that I could see people that look like me um, not grew up. Some some of them may have grew up the same way I grew up, you know, or probably had much more money or made less money, you know. But you could see people like us falling in love and things like that. So I'm excited about this. I'm totally like okay. I am sad that it's ending and I was excited about, when I say I was excited, I was excited about be, seeing an imprint that was geared towards me, us. But um, they're ending um, at the end of 19, so I'm kind of sad. But then a lot of um, a lot of the authors that were under Kamani is going, are getting pulled over to other Harlequin imprints, which is pretty good. Um, like my girl Reese Ryan, as you guys know, the Bourbon Brothers series, I did um, a review on the third book in that world in that whole bourbon brothers world i will put a link bar description in the link bar below as well too of course any thing book i talk about i will put it in the link in the description bar below so you gotta check out my review as well too um my girl kiana alexander is over there as well too yes honey i'm excited i'm excited oh my goodness yes um i'm just so excited um speaking of harlequin my girl Deborah Mello has a book come has a book out called um Tempted by the Badge. And I'm so excited. This is the second book to service has a book sir. out called Um Tempted by the Badge. And I'm so excited. This is the second book to service a do series, um, which features um hot fine policemen, fine, fine police brothers in the um, city of Chicago. So I read the first book. So you definitely check that out as well too. And I got the second book. And I got the last book in the um, Brenda Jackson series of the um, 
Bachelor's in Demand series, I got that, so you should, should see a review on that as well, too. And also, Brenda Jackson has her second book out um, in the Catalina Cove series as well, too. Um, the name slips my mind right now. I'll definitely put it in the um, link bar below, so you guys could check that out um, as well, too. Man, when I tell you this is, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just so proud of a lot of people making power moves, especially when it comes to the literary world. I'm so proud of a lot of people that's just doing the damn thing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just basically just killing it. I'm so proud of them. Um, You know, I'm just so proud of them. I'm so awe of them. Like, they're doing it. I'm just so happy for them as well, too. So, you can definitely, I'm just so excited, honey. Um, speaking of books, you guys know my girl, um, Shelly Ellis has a second book in the Branch Avenue Boys series coming out as well, too, called Know Your Place. Um, that hits the stores at the end of, in a month or so. And I'm definitely going to have a review about, with that one, probably in the next week or so as well, too, so you guys can pre-order as well. And then, speaking of Kensington real quick, because sure, um... Shelly's under Kansas City. Um, my girl Zuri Day has a um, third book in the um, Blue Collar Lover series called Sweet Heat. I was, man, I mean, I tell you, I was waiting for this book for a long time. So you'll get a review on that as well, too. That doesn't come out until July. So I'm going to put it up so you guys can have a chance to pre order that as well, too. Woo. Um, yeah. On another, on a, um, on a kind of more like a, um, more sadder note a little bit as you guys know if you follow me on my social media um my uncle slash my dad i call him my dad because he raised me has passed away a month and a half ago so i haven't been recording any videos and things like that um i'm okay i'm still it's still kind of numb a little bit because that was like i'm gonna tell you that man was like the biggest supporter of everything i did he was <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I can't. I can't talk about him while crying. Like he supported me ever since I was a child with everything I did, whether it's reading, um, now with my makeup artistry and things like that. He just always been so so. Excuse me. He's has always been so supportive of me. Always like encouraged me, prayed with me, everything. I'm gonna miss that man so much. He also was a huge um. He was a supporter of books, beauty, and stuff as well too. So. Um, I love that man so much. <laughs> anyway, um, and you know his wife was my aunt, my favorite aunt, so also a huge um supporter as well too. So, yeah, um, they those two are amazing. Anyway, um, just a lot of good books coming out as well too. Um, so yeah, definitely check them out. I'm so excited about what's coming up this spring and summer. Um, I will have more news later, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching and bye.